Oh, hell yeah! Oh. Oh, that got me for a sec. Damn. Deep Shock sucks. I bet no one thought that was going to be the case. If you grew up in the video store era of the early 2000s and read at all these garbage bin monster movies, you probably saw this logo at one point or another. Unified Film Organization was on the same level of Asylum when it came to production quality. They're still around, though they seem to be focusing on straight-to-video, no-budget sequels that no one asked for nowadays, like Jarhead 3. <laughs> Ooh! This movie basically follows almost the same plot outline as Deep Blue Sea, but without any of the fun. An underwater military base gets attacked by some and the government blames global warming. But this chick believes something far more sinister is at play. Something as sinister as space eels from space trying to flood the world as a form of terraforming. Yeah, yeah, I said that. So this movie came out in 2003. And you know what else was airing in 2003 on TV and was incredibly popular at the same time? 24. And everything about this movie, from the camera pans, to the music, to the dialogue, to these fucking text transitions. It's like the director saw 24 and said, you know, let's do that. But with a shitty movie about space seals, good plan, great plan. The production quality in this is off the charts, man. The way that set looks like a Power Rangers set. The computers that look like repurposed Apple Macs that I used to have in elementary school back in like 2001. The way this supposedly metal wall wobbles like it's made out of rubber when they bump into it. Oh man, it's good shit. types like that. Bro be looking like the keyboard cat, that ain't normal. The moment I knew my brain was gonna check out was this scene where one of the soldiers decides to mutiny. You know, if you're gonna try and intimidate someone with a gun, it helps if you actually aim it at them, you know? But don't worry guys, this dude is a badass, and his dialogue is proof of that. Well, I spent two weeks crawling on my belly in Desert Storm trying to get a shot. This is walking the park. Two seconds later. <laughs> Now you'd think a movie about giant killer eels would be exciting, but somehow, they fucked that up too. After the initial attack in the first 20 minutes of the movie, they decided to do the whole attempt at a mystery thing, while our main characters wander around the base wondering what happened. Problem is, we already know what happened. They got attacked by eels that look less like eels and more like a shitty schoolbook dragon like a Pokemon or something, like this looks like ass. Now apparently this movie was supposed to have eels that looked more like Moray eels, I assume with the design that actually looked like the one on the cover, but halfway through production they decided to cut cost and had a Bulgarian CGI studio take over and we ended up with this. And like, honestly, for a straight to video 2003 B movie, the CGI itself isn't the worst ever, but, and this is a big but, I think that's mainly because the version of the movie I have has such shit quality that you can barely make out anything anyway, and that probably hides a lot of it. They just couldn't help themselves, could they? They just had to have their abyss moment in there. Now, none of the characters are memorable in the slightest. I mean, did you think otherwise? The only one I actually somewhat enjoyed was Mark Shepard's character because he was an unmitigated prick the entire time. Like, he was bad for no other reason than to be bad. They even gave him a turtleneck, because, you know, only assholes wear turtlenecks. But he gets explosively decompressed, so it's fine. Now, funny enough, he actually ended up being in six episodes of 24 a few years later, so I guess this movie was good practice or something. It's not like the other actors are bad or anything, like, they're not terrible, but they're there's this scene where they kiss and they make loud kissing sounds with their mouths and I fucking hate that so much that it makes me despise them as characters so yeah the only one good one is the bad guy. Yeah. This movie doesn't even have gore to save it. There's actually a very low body count and when people do die it's never because the eels ate them. It's crap like this. <laughs> Shit, man, at least in most B-monster movies you can count on some gore or, like, something, but this doesn't even have that. Deep Shock gets a shockingly deep... <laughs> 1.5 out of 5. There's quite literally only one thing that could have saved it.